There's really no tradition like a campfire in the summer, but this summer with this heat and this dry weather, traditions are taking a backseat to safety. We'll explain. And it's not just campfires. Weather has fizzled firework shows in several communities as well. Good evening. I'm Eric Franke. And I'm Sarah Carlson. Thanks for joining us. First tonight at 10, DNR officials say we're approaching drought conditions. They're forcing the DNR in several communities to issue burn bans. The counties in red seen here are under total bans, not allowing fireworks or outdoor fires at all. Only parts of counties in orange are under bans as well. New at 10, the night team's Theo Keith breaks it all down. Theo. Well, Eric, the list of communities banning fireworks is growing at state parks. The list of restrictions is getting bigger too. no fireworks, no smoking, no campfires unless they're in an approved fire ring. And you don't have to look far to understand why. There's a certain beauty to keeping things simple, like building your own fire. It's what drew Bob Cox to Lake Kiganza State Park this weekend. It was nice. It's just good. You're getting away from your normal normal life a little bit and, and you're relaxing a lot more. But he and wife Sally aren't completely living off the land. No way. We'd be back home. It wouldn't be for the air conditioning. <laughs> the historic heat and record low rainfall has some people staying away completely. In my opinion, it's too hot for a campfire anyway. <laughs> Catherine Cooley at the DNR is trying to stop a dangerous wildfire from happening. That's why the state put burn restrictions into place, even though it is such a popular time of year. We are on the edge of drought conditions. Unfortunately, the timing is not great and, um, you know, it's our number one priority is uh, life and safety of, of the public and our firefighters. Fire departments, meanwhile, have banned fireworks in many communities. Madison isn't one of them. We're hoping that common sense will prevail. Spokeswoman Lori Wirth says crews have already put out two recent fires started because of illegal fireworks. When you do this, you're, you're not just starting a little fire. You're potentially starting a large fire that can encroach upon heavily populated areas and do a world of damage. Done to a perfect perfection. At his campsite, Bob Cox will be following the rules. He hopes his fellow campers will too. I don't know how fast a fire would move through here, but it's plenty dry, so you definitely don't want to be separated from your, your family and kids. And fines are pretty stiff for shooting off illegal fireworks in Madison. It's 334 bucks for an adult for a first-time offense. Juveniles are not exempt, although the fine is a little bit smaller, but you can better believe if one of those fireworks sets off a fire, you'll be facing a much stiffer penalty. Can't say they didn't warn us. All right, thanks, Theo.